So as the founder of The Conscious Professional, I quite often get asked how the company came to be. And it all started back in 2008 as I was walking through the car park of the Inner Temple after court one day. And a friend of mine came up to me and said, hey, Neil, how's it going? I hear you're one of the rising stars of the civil bar. Nobody had ever said that to me before. But when he said that, what actually I heard in my head was your star is rising in the wrong field. You have to leave. And so this insight dropped in unexpectedly like a gong had gone off in my body. It just clanged around with such truth and clarity that I decided to leave my job as a barrister. It took me about five months to wrap up my career. And I left not knowing what I was leaving to, but knowing that that was the right decision. And luckily I had met my um, teacher, my meditation teacher some months before, and I've been now working with her since that date. Um, and really learning how to go back into deep listening and to create from that space of conscious listening. And so it took quite a while. I went to, uh, I did quite a lot of traveling, uh, finding myself, all of that sort of thing. And in 2012, I, in a meditation, saw the logo of the conscious professional, received the name of the conscious professional, and I was told, felt like I was told that I was going to be teaching mindfulness. This is what landed in my meditation. And so I trusted the clarity of that. There was nothing unclear about it. It was like, this is what you're going to be doing. And since then, I have been living out that insight. Um, so that's how the conscious professional came to be.